So the question of the day is, can a trike fly sideways? Well, a little bit. What we're looking at here is an induced slipping turn. And the purple piece of rope on the windshield is indicating where the relative wind is coming from. So when that rope is off to one side like you see it there, that means that that represents the direction of wind flow across the aircraft, showing that the aircraft is not flying straight through the relative wind. Here you can see the trike yawing from left to right while it banks the opposite way with reference to the ground. A coordinated turn is entirely different where the nose follows the same direction into the bank of the turn. Keep your eye on the purple string on the windshield and note that it's straight up and down during the turn. Moving the bar directly sideways and forcefully is the best way to upset the nose in yaw and create what we call a Dutch roll or when the trike is slipped. If we can imagine that this black line or all of these black lines are going this direction as the relative wind when the trike is flying straight into the wind or coordinated and the effect that you get is the wind is pushing back equally on both leading edges. What that does is it gives a point of reference for the pilot to be able to shift against from right to left to billow either one of the wings and the only thing that's going to make the wing asymmetrical or wanting to roll with a high billow in one wing is going to be pilot input possibly some bad aerodynamics of maybe the carriage or P factor those three things now when a trike becomes uh, uncoordinated or it's slipping to the relative wind where the wind is still going this way so the trike is moving sideways as you see in our flight footage the wind is now hitting this entire leading edge but it's skating by this leading edge so we have a lot of wind resistance here and what that does is that pushes the leading edge back and billows this wing so when this happens it's the low wing that's being pushed back as the trike is flying cross controlled or slipped and it billows this wing which further tends to roll the aircraft in which in some cases will further cause it to slip now the answer in some cases is to push the bar forward to coordinate the turn and then you have equal pressure on both the leading edges and now the pilot can restore roll input if the wing is not stalled so there you have it uh, sometimes you do have to coordinate your turn in order to get it to be responsive when you're in a slipping turn